today. Red Arrow fucking idiot! Guy? Ah, ho -ho. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to probably... I don't even know how to describe this, but... The most anticipated movie of 2022. Yes. My opinion. That, that's what I think, anyway. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. And madness it was. Spider-Man No Way Home. You know, it, it built up a lot of stuff. But then, then we had this movie, which really shows Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch, in all of her glory in this movie. She destroys everything in her path. Director Sam Raimi, he knew exactly what he was doing bringing the horror element to this movie, I, I will say that. There wasn't, there wasn't a lot of stuff in this movie that, you know, made me jump. Nothing was really, oh, oh, okay, yeah, I knew that was coming, you know, it's... There, there was, you know, some little tiny moments where I'm like, oh, oh, okay, that's, oh, uh, that just got me, but nothing like, oh, oh, okay, no, 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 no nothing like that. The Doctor Strange that we have in this movie, the, the lesson for him is to control his arrogance because Defender Strange is full of arrogance, Sinister Strange is full of arrogance, the Doctor Strange in Earth 838 was arrogant and we, we learn about the term dreamwalking in this movie, which is when you possess the body of one of your variants and control them, which is what Wanda does by using the Darkhold, and Strange does it at the end by possessing uh, Defender Strange's corpse. Now, there's so much I can talk about, but there's one thing I really want to talk about. The Illuminati, yes. Marvel finally brought in the Illuminati, and I know these versions are variants. We have Mordo, Baron Carl Mordo. We have Captain Carter, the first Avenger, yes, the same one from What If. We have Monica Rambeau, not Ma er, no, it's Maria Rambeau, I'm sorry, I said this in, I think my vlog, I said this in, I said Maria Rambeau, or Monica, it's, it's oh, I can't, I can't get the two confused, it's Maria Rambeau in this movie, and we also have Professor Charles Xavier in this movie, and we have Blackguard Boltigan. The Black, aka the Black Bolt from the Inhumans, which was a series that I knew nothing about. Protector of the something mist. I, I tried to ask Harvester about this, but he didn't know it. And the smartest man alive, Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four, played by John Krasinski. The fan casting done right. And there was a reference to the Invisible Woman, Sue Storm. When Wanda asked Reed, "Oh, is is your like is your is your wife alive?" Like, because Reed mentioned that they have kids, and Wanda goes, "Oh, is is her mother still alive?" Yes. Oh, good. There'll be someone to look after them. Scary shit. Now, Wanda kills every single member of the Illuminati. Black Bolt can destroy her with one whisper of his mouth, and she goes, "What mouth?" And he looks at his mouth and it's covered up, and he pretty much blows his brains out. Reed Richards gets turned into spaghetti. 
Captain Carter says the famous line that Steve Rogers had, I can do this all day, and then she gets cut in half by her shield, and Monica Ra or Maria Rambo gets drained of her powers, and then gets crushed by a statue, and Professor Charles Xavier gets his neck snapped, and he dies too. The only member that doesn't die is Mordo, who stays behind and fights with Doctor Strange. And I know these are variants of these characters, but why bring them in, especially John Krasinski, as the most most wanted cast member, just to turn him into ribbons and spaghetti. Now, America Chavez, I, I actually read like some of her comics beforehand, and in this movie, she's 14 compared to the comics where she's a bit older, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want a minute of your time in, in the middle of this video. I know it's weird, but whoa, Disney. A channel very close to my heart, as you know. They're trying to get monetized and they need roughly about 1,000 odd video watch time. It would mean so much to me if you can go over, support Madison and Mackenzie, get them monetized. Nothing is more beneficial to a YouTuber than becoming monetized and supporting not only me, but supporting them as well. This is just a minute little video that I wanted to do. Thank you for listening. Back to the original video. Um, Asuchi Gomez did a very good portrayal of this character in this movie and being able to travel through multiverses whenever she wants to. Very good, and at the end of this movie, she gets trained as a Sorcerer Supreme, or, sor or Sorcerer Giant, so Sorcerer Supreme, that's Wong, who we don't see much of this movie, which, you know, everyone said, oh, Phase 4 is the error of Wong. It's not, but he, in this movie, you know, he goes to Wonder Woman Mountain with Wanda, and yeah, no, um... Wanda only wants to be with Billy and Tommy, which is fine. But you cast her in this pure villain role, which I I could I I like Wanda, and in this movie it seems like our reality of Wanda six one six dies because she she realizes that or well she. I just drew a mind blank there. It's not the first time I've done that, but she collapses Wanda Gore Mountain on top of herself, but just before she does like she does die, um, we see like a red blast coming from the temple in Wanda Gore Mountain, and it makes you wonder, is she dead? I don't know. I, I want to say yes, but we never see a body, and with Marvel logic, if you never see a body, then they're not dead. <laughs> and with Strange in this movie, it's him saying goodbye to Christine Palmer, because the Dimension 838 Christine Palmer, who works for the Baxter Foundation, she travels with him to Sinister Strange's place, and he says to her, oh, I love you in every universe, but we know we can't be together. And he then fixes the watch that she gave him, but then everything seems fine, but then the third eye opens up in his head, and that introduces us to Clea from the comics, who is Dormammu's niece. But I've already done a post credit scene video on what that's going to lead to. Yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, this was my review for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. We now get ready for the Miss Marvel series on 
the 5th of June, no, 27th of June, I don't know, at some point in June, I can't remember, but yeah, it's, it's coming, I know that, it's coming, and the next MCU movie is Thor Love and Thunder, which hopefully will be a bit more better than this. This is only our fifth movie of the MCU Phase 4, because we obviously had Black Widow, we had Shang-Chi, we had The Eternals, we had Spider-Man, and now I Doctor Strange. So, looking at how Doctor Strange fits into everything else, yeah, there's, there's a lot of questions I have, like, the main one being what the hell is going to happen with the Illuminati. That's that's my main one. Um, let me know what you guys think of Multiverse of Madness. Where would you rank it out of the five movies we've had so far? Personally, Shang-Chi and the Legends of the Ten Rings at the top for me. Then Spider-Man. Then Multiverse of Madness. Then The Eternals. And Black Widow sits at the bottom. Because the hype for Black Widow. I've talked about this multiple times. The hype for Black Widow didn't live up to what we thought it was going to be. So that's why it's at the bottom. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and I will see you... Yeah, this is bad. Um, I'll see you in two weeks because in two weeks the Obi-Wan Kenobi series starts on May 25th. Seventh, but my first review for that won't be out until the Saturday, which is the 28th. And on the 27th, I'm off to see the new Tom Cruise movie, the Top Gun Maverick movie. So, yeah, you won't see me for two weeks on this channel. But if you follow my Twitch, the Jobberverse channel, the gaming channel, I'm all over there. So, you know. You might miss me on this channel, and thank you guys for voting on the Disney on Ice poll. It looks like we might be going, but I'm in no rush to get my tickets. I know they go on sale this Friday, but I won't be buying them this Friday. Um, I'll let you guys know when I have bought them, but yeah, it looks like we are going to go. Because I, I can't miss it. It's Disney on Ice. Your opinion mattered to me, so thank you so much. I'll see you guys in two weeks on this channel for Top Gun Maverick.